The parallels between the lives of Robert Sharkovich and Peter Blomberg are uncanny. Just like Sharkovich, Blomberg was a volunteer firefighter, a father, a grandfather, a carpenter, and a custodian who worked for the school system. Another Connecticut fire company draped in black bunting, an all too familiar scene. It's a close knit bunch of guys. His brothers and sisters draped a big American flag across I-84 as his casket was escorted home. He was just an all around great guy. Bouquets of flowers adorned the hood of his truck. His turnout gear symbolizes the big shoes left to fill. Just a great citizen of Newtown. Peter Blomberg was 72, the assistant chief of the Botsford Fire Company in Newtown. His former chief recalled his service. He was probably one of the nicest guys I've ever met. I uh, would do anything for you. Was always down at the firehouse, you know, taking part in training or fundraising. Peter was tragically killed Monday hit by a pickup truck at dusk here at the intersection of Churchill Road and Dayton Street. Pete was a, a dedicated fireman. He was a dedicated father. He raised four daughters by himself, just became a grandfather, which is devastating. When Pete wasn't responding to emergencies, he was spending time with his four daughters, new grandson Everett, or riding his Harley or working security at local concert venues. Over the years, he was a carpenter, a handyman, did construction, and just well-liked. Pete's service to Newtown extended beyond the fire department. He was a custodian at Newtown Middle School. I think his last day was September 20th, and he was pretty excited about that, always talking about going down to Florida. The Botsford Fire Department released a statement saying, in part, even up to a few hours before his death, Pete had responded to two fire calls. Pete Blomberg died while en route to the annual Newtown Fire Commissioners meeting. We also discovered this is not the only loss the Newtown Fire Department has experienced this week. The Hollyville Fire Company just had to say goodbye to longtime senior member Bill Brunetti. Reporting in Newtown, Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.